Hey everybody, Angel Medina here. Thank you so much for watching this video. On today's video, I'm gonna be going over, does it hurt my credit when I am pulling my credit in order to get qualified for a home loan purchase or to refinance? So again, on today's video, I'm gonna be going over some of the facts and some of the myths that I hear as far as uh, what is actually reality and what is actually a myth and what is actually something that a lot of uh, my clients or you know consumers out there who are thinking about buying or refinance are being told and a lot of the things that uh, you know you are being told aren't actually reality they're being told to you for a reason so I'm gonna be going over again credit and does it hurt my credit if I am looking to pull my credit with a lender with multiple lenders or should I just go with one lender and then once I get my credit ran just give that lender my credit score so it does not affect my credit so if you're new here I would ask you to please um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel and also if you like the video you know, go ahead and hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. I greatly appreciate it. And if you notice next to the subscribe button, there's also a little bell there. If you hit that bell, all it's gonna do is gonna notify you every time I do upload a video. I do upload videos every Wednesday, uh, Friday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And again, I hope you enjoy this video. And thank you very much for watching. Angel Medina, your lifelong mortgage advisor video like I said I'm gonna be going over some of the one of the biggest things I hear a lot and that is when I'm talking to a client whether it be a referral whether it be somebody that is looking to get qualified one of the biggest concerns is their credit obviously we all know that uh, you know credit is a big thing whether you're looking to get a credit card, whether you're looking to buy a car, whether you're looking to rent, or whether you're looking to purchase a home or refinance. And one of the biggest myths that I hear that is not a fact, it is something that it gets told a lot, and I think it's been passed down throughout the years, is that a lot of people feel that it is better to do what's called a soft pull or it's better not to pull your credit and because if you pull your credit you're going to ultimately have your score go lower well the fact is is that is not true when you're dealing with a financial institution such as a direct lender a bank that is trying to lend you money and your main concern or one of your concerns is you don't want to pull your credit because you've already pulled your credit with other lenders but yet you wanna shop it around, I would say definitely do not feel that that is going to hurt your credit because you're allowed to pull your credit within a 30 to 45 day period multiple, multiple times. And the reason that is, is it's completely different when you're dealing with the financial institution versus going out and buying a car or getting approved for a credit card. So the biggest thing I would say to you is if your concern is really that your score is gonna drop dramatically because you're looking to shop around to get the best lender, I would say that you do not need to believe when people tell you that or if you hear that on the news and doing a soft pull is not going to do you any justice. When you're looking to refinance or get qualified for a home loan, you have to let that lender, in order for them to do their job and for them to know exactly what they can do for you, to pull your credit with the, credit, uh, with the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. By allowing that professional, that lender, to pull your credit, what they're going to do is you have to understand that you could have perfect credit and that does not make a difference. It does help, and don't get me wrong, there are three major factors that you have to consider. There's your middle score, 
your equity in your home and your overall debt to ratio income, your debt ratio. So your debt ratio is all the debt that you have, whether you're doing it combined as a married couple or just by yourself, divided into your income. So let's say, for example, that you have the perfect credit score. It is, uh, you know, almost 800 and you are like, there's no reason why you should not qualify me. Well, that is not reality. And the reason being is you could have the perfect credit score, but if you have a ton of debt or you're trying to refinance and you don't have equity in your home, then it does not matter how good your credit is. So what I would recommend if you are thinking about looking to purchase a home or refinance, I would highly recommend is speak to at least two different lenders. You can even go as far as three lenders. You don't want to go more than that because at that point you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to just, uh, you know, at that point get confused as to who told you what. I would recommend at least like for example, if I were looking for a loan, I would at least speak to two different lenders and just see what they have to say. And based upon the questions that I asked them, see how they respond. And what you're going to notice if you go with three different lenders, if you see one lender whose pricing is just spectacular and everything that you you know, ask them, they're just like, yes, yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. I can get you that rate. I would say you have to be very leery of that lender because you don't want somebody telling you um, some of the things that you want to hear just so that you'll move forward with them. You want to make sure that you put yourself in a situation where you talk to somebody. For example, when I work with somebody, my main goal is to treat them exactly how I would want to be treated. I act as if um, I put myself in that client's shoes and I'm giving them the same treatment that I would give to my mom, my dad, my cousins, my brother, my sister, my best friend. I'm going above and beyond. And if they ask me a question, I'm going to, one is just not so much as answer right away. I want to know what is the reasoning behind their question so I can answer it the best way and not give them an answer that they're just going to want to hear, but an answer that they need to hear in order for them to make the best decision for them and their family. So again, if you're looking to pull your credit, it is a big myth that pulling your credit with a financial institution, a lender, is going to drop your score dramatically. Now, I'm not saying that if you look with buying a car or getting a credit card. Now, if you do that, could that hurt your credit? Yes, because they're going to run your credit through a different uh, system that could actually run your credit more than once, multiple times. And you have to understand that looking with a credit card company versus um, you know, or a car company, a car that could drive away or a credit car that you could take anywhere versus a home, something that is going to be sitting there, you're, it's a real, you're going to be buying or refinancing is completely different. A lot of the times is if you were to look at, like let's say Credit Karma or you were to look at, let's say, um, Experian or Equifax or TransUnion.com, you're going to see that your score will be completely different versus looking with a financial institution. So if you are thinking about looking to refinance or to purchase a home, just understand that you have to let that lender pull your credit. You don't want to ask them to do a soft pull. You don't want to ask them, hey, can I use my credit report from this other lender? that does not do you any good or the lender any good. Okay, so I hope that helps. I definitely want to let you know that that is something that if you did believe before, you're not alone. I mean, I hear it on TV, I hear it everywhere. And one of the reasons that um, that was told to a lot of consumers out there is because 
it was to stop you from shopping around with other lenders. So before a lot of lenders would say, oh, you don't want to pull your credit with somebody else because if you do, that's going to hurt your score and it's going to then, you know, hurt your chances to refinance with me. So what that lender, if someone is telling you that, a lender is telling you not to pull your credit, you have to understand that that person more than likely, unless you're right on the very edge, but even then that person may be telling you that so that you do not go and shop it around and possibly not decide to work with that lender, which to me is not a really good thing to tell somebody. The only time that I'll tell someone not to pull their credit is if they already have really bad credit. And if you have bad credit, I would say nine out of 10 times, you probably know your credit isn't that great right now and you already don't qualify so there's no really need for you to continue to go out there and pull your credit over and over. You should first focus on doing the necessary steps, which is another video that I'm gonna be making in order for you to qualify for a new loan. So again, I hope that helps if you are looking to purchase or refinance. My name is Angel Medina. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, please, uh, if you notice the subscribe button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Next to that is the bell. And if you click on that bell, what that does is it notifies you anytime there's new uploads that I upload. And it goes over real videos that have to do with the market now and have to do with the latest trends of if you're looking to buy or refinance or anything that has to do with real estate. Thank you very much for watching my video, Angel Medina your lifelong mortgage advisor.